Jim Possibrew. Just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, major adventure today. I came out to mow my lawn, and before I could even get started, I come out and clean up any dog poop from the Mexican, the Texan, and the giant dinosaur dog that they leave out back here. As I'm cleaning up, somebody's walking through my yard. It's this guy right here. That guys <laughs> and, the, and the train wanted to come by and say hi. That guys, well, let me make sure I'm getting heard over the train. His name is Spats. <laughs> the reason his name is Spats is because Spats Domino is the one who performed the song I'm Walking. Yes, indeed, and I'm talking about you and me, and I'm hoping because he that's what he was doing when I came out. He was actually like strutting across the yard. He was just like doing this. He had on a little top. I don't know what he did with it. He had a fedora on. And he's going, I'm walking. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, Fats, how you doing? But what, what it is, is that's a fledgling bird. And just so you guys know, not a good idea to pick them up. Then why did you pick them up, Curtis? Well, I'll tell you why. Our yard is an exception. His lifespan, alone in that yard, unable to fly, would be about 20 minutes. We have stray cats through here all the time. We have all, we're in the sticks. We have all kinds of animals out through here, squirrels, those nasty ass, mean-spirited little red squirrels. Not only that, if I hadn't seen him first and let our dogs out, the Texan would have killed him for sure. The Mexican, she's, too, she's lost it. She's lost her mind. She wouldn't even know him. there was a bird there. The giant dinosaur dog doesn't care about anybody else. The only chance... She would've, he would have played with her. Right. The only, the only chance that Fats would have had was if the giant dinosaur dog stopped the Texan from killing her because the Texan is absolutely batshit crazy. So given that, it's like, okay, I, I got to gotta get him to safety. So I put him here in my little wheelbarrow where nothing could get him, read up on what to do. And what they said we need to do is put him in a tree because there are a bunch of birds around here. I'm thinking some of it's definitely family. I haven't seen anyone with a top hat or anything you know, to, to guarantee it, but I'm assuming some of it's family. So they'll help him, but he can't fly right now. Again, that's not uncommon for them to do. I just don't want him to get killed out here. So they told us to do is make him just a little mock nest and put, stick it up in a tree. So I went over and I bought him his own little cool bowl. I put a couple of holes in it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail it to the tree at a little bit of an angle. So if it should rain, I don't want to get soaked either. The rain will wash out of the holes. And I said, put a little piece of like an old shirt or something in there. So I'm like, well, he's got to have something cool. And now my, yes, I'm Kazuma shirt. I can't wear anymore because it was one of the low grade ones and it all faded. But if you can catch that at all, he will be nesting with yes i'm kazuma it's so faded you can barely see it but i'm thinking that just the idea of having an adventurer of his caliber backed up by aqua and the girls and <laughs> you know the girls uh keep him safe absolutely keep him safe for sure so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna go nail that to the tree put kazuma in there with him then my wife will come over she'll shoot me we'll put him in the tree today is friday we're leaving sunday morning I'm hoping by then he'll have, he can almost fly. I should mention that too. He just can't stay airborne. And he's stupid. He, he's got to, no, he's not, he's you not, don't know listen, that. I love fats, but he's, he's <laughs> dumb. Because when he jumps even, if he jumps a little bit, when he lands, his feet are fine. He just, he, he lands and his momentum takes him forward and he smashes his face into the ground every time. If you hold him a little off the ground, he can jump out of your hand. He has enough wing support to not crash. But then he makes the landing and he bounces his head off the ground. So that isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. So we're trying to give him a hand up in life here. But I'm going to go tack this to the tree right now. We'll put Fats in and we'll do follow-up videos to monitor his progress. All right, guys, here we go. Come on, we'll get... All right, Fats, relax. Don't pee on me. It's all right, Fats. I think he's gotten used to me. He doesn't even fight me anymore. He's like, yeah, whatever, dude. What are we doing now? Come on, Fats. And you gotta stay in the tree, bro. Cause there's a lot of shit down here that will kill your ass. Will munch you. He used to, when I first found him this morning, if I picked him up, he would caw a little bit. He'd screech a little. Now he's just like, yeah, whatever, bro. All right, Pat. Got that locked into place and everything. Uh, there's your home, dude. No, Pat. And there you oh, go. Oh, No, he flew down. He flew down to the bottom. So what do we do about Fats? He's fine. He can fly. That's the problem. He keeps coming out. 
Oh, guys, we went to all this trouble and poor Fats. Fats, dude. What are we going to do for him? I don't know. So I can't even put a bigger container in here. No. He's just, because he can fly enough. He's, he's just, here, let me see the camera. I'll show you guys. Anybody who's worried he got hurt. He's right down there. He's fine. He can fly enough. Okay, guys, plan B for Fats is in effect. What I've done is the best that we've got, as you can see, I've moved my wheelbarrow out here into the yard and I've got fats inside the wheelbarrow. I'm right near the trees that have to be the source of where fats came from, I'm assuming. They're, they're the ones, are, and that's where all the other birds are flying around. So now the other birds can see him without a problem. Any potential predators will have no idea he's here. I mean, he's extremely vulnerable on the ground. Up in here, he's safe from, obviously, my dogs. And I don't really think any predators are going to be able to find him to come after him. So let's hope, as you saw, he can fly somewhat. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe when Fats fell out of the nest, he hurt a wing or something. I'm hoping it's gonna heal, but at least here, he'll have the attention of the other birds around and maybe Fats will be able to survive his <laughs> his nightmare day but again i'll go back in i'm going to see if i can find him another cool little hat room to wear on his adventures and i will keep you posted i'll be checking on him regularly and hopefully we come out here and at some point bats has flown away